<laughs> oh god. If you're able, if you're able to play his flow with him, like you, you can beat Ike. I'm sorry, Skittles really, really, just really to finish off. Skittles beat uh, Cola at the at the captain's quarters this past weekend. That's what it was. Oh, did he? I thought he, either, Cola he lost to Sonic. I think oh, he Cola. beat. He Epic lost to Cola. Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, he beat Ethan Gabriel. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I was watching. You. Oh, hold up. Oh, wait. No, he... is he? Yeah. <laughs> That's why this match was kind of hard. Outside of just being combo food to Palutena. And, like, the see, you know how I wants to approach with that in the air? Like, that's what exactly what Palut wants. Like, okay, please just jump in the air so I can just air to air you with my superior aerials and then, you know, carry you to the corner of the stage. Like, even when you, you know, spacing the sword, like having a disjoint, that's, like, not a big deal versus Palutena most of the time. You can space around that really well. The thing about Palutena is she has the speed and the ability. Oh god, those close. She actually has the speed and like the aerials to contest a character like Ike. Yeah, and, and then there's like these really good projectiles as well. It does decide to hang back and try to pick his spots a little more carefully. It, it's, uh, it's definitely a rough scenario for Ike here. Yeah. Nice. Able to kind of come back. Yeah, if I'm working, like, I would not take any real risk. He yeah. just has such a huge lead. Oh. But there's that kind of risky up tilt. I mean, I, I don't blame him. That up tilt's really strong. I think he's going to kill around this percent. So, I don't blame him. He got, like, pretty much lapped him a full stock extra credit. Yeah. Also, also saw that, uh... I saw that dash attack, the armor from the the shield going like completely negating Ike's landing there. I think if you can even deal with like his landing there with with that move is really good. Yeah, you can you can challenge a lot with Ike with Palutena. Uh, you can also like just you can play the distance game, the close game, the the, the speed game. There's a lot that Palutena gives, gives Ike trouble for. But also, like I said, like, Ike's, don't underestimate Ike's sword, because it can definitely rack up damage and get percents. And they're very, very confident Ike will know how to handle the matchup. Yeah, especially on these stage. Oh, new up beat. What were we living, though? I thought that was, I thought he was dead. See, 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 that's what I'm oh. saying, though. Like, even though he got that up beat, I said this last week, even though he got that up beat, like, he is... Ike just needs that because he doesn't have much in his toolkit to contest against a lot of characters. I, I think the buffs just made him a little bit easier to deal with kills, but even then, like I said, he's very flow charting. You'll, you'll figure out how to fight him eventually. Yeah, Ghost's doing a decent job coming back here, though. I like that he's not committing to his upbeat early off stage. Doesn't want to get put in a situation where that Palutena counter just gets another free stock. Okay, but finds off stage. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go for the platform. The side beat again. Does not, does not want to go low. With that upbeat, almost a guaranteed stock there. But the kind is the counter up. Okay, he's gonna side beat. No snipe. Oh, the armor there. Nice. Yeah. Going through the back there. Okay. As of the last patch, the armor was actually have has a lot more invincibility and start up too. So. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, that was a really unsafe dash attack. Okay, kind of, kind of on his last legs here now. Gotta be very, very careful here. Ike is super scary in the position. Oh my god. Somebody needs a kill! And that will do it. I saw it too. I saw the dash attack to kind of cover that option if Ike had come in with an aerial or with any other option. That was good stuff from Rakan to go for dash attack. I just think the execution was just a little bit too early and that's what yeah. kind of got got the stock. Yeah, if he timed it better, like in a way to just intercept Ike, he could have just ate through that forward air easily. But yeah. dang, that was huge comeback from Guts, honestly. But uh, Rakan had pretty much almost a two stock lead that game. But Guts still found a way to come back there. I wonder if he's just gonna run it back. A lot, a lot of times when that happens, you, yeah. <laughs> Just go back, like, okay, I don't know how I dropped that stage. It was working fine. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna run it back. Certain characters, I usually ill advise to never run it back. Pick a better stage, for your example. I know people usually like to go to uh, Pokemon Starter 2, but like, I just tell everyone sometimes the stage has more, like, against characters like Ike and DK in specific, 
uh, it's really good for them, so you kind of want to avoid giving them that much damage. Yeah, I don't like any platform stage versus Zyke, but it's not that bad for Kali most of the time. Yeah. Like, I don't blame him. Good dash tag, honestly. Yeah, and he hasn't been really dying to the uh, platform combos yet. So I, I don't think he's worried about it right now, anyway. Oh, oh he's, he's good, he's good, yeah. Yeah, full screen he won't kill, but he's gotta watch that uh, very risky grab. Okay, nope, no back air. Nice. Oh man, they're playing such a dangerous game in the corner. Yeah, that was good though. Dash attack, like I said, this time Recon. It's, it's a good option. If I try to over approach with something, you'll have the armor with it, plus you're able to actually get around. Good with punish on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he wanted to teleport on stage. Streams have. Wait, what happened? Yeah, I'm having stream issues. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's not on my end. What? Oh, okay. What? What the heck? Dude, this one is so good. I don't know, like, I feel like Persona 4 aged really well. It, it has. It, it's. I, I, I can't say the same time. about 3, though. Yeah, yeah. it's. Three was my first Persona, and then I played two afterwards because I got it on the PSP. Uh, but I've I've enjoyed three a lot more than I have five in terms of story-wise. I enjoyed five, but I think four is low-key a personal favorite. Like I have a soft spot for it, but three did not age well. Definitely agree. They're probably gonna do a remake too, like they did for four. Anyway, can oh. So that setup actually kills earlier now. I, I guess the changes to Nair made like it kill even earlier than it did before, which is kind of funny. Like I, I thought that like they made Nair do more knockback to avoid that, but they just made it even better kind of. Yeah, I remember they like Smash 4, um, Fal Falcon, Captain Falcon got a nerf, and everybody found out it was actually a buff. Even though Captain Falcon, he's also crazy now. He was, dude, he was broken before. He's more broken now. Yeah. That Surprise. character is not okay. Surprise, I haven't seen one yet. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. When Ike starts throwing out up smashes, that's when you know they're throwing himself a little too much. <laughs> yeah, I usually say the same. Uh, I think like Ike up smash and down or up smash are equally scary to deal with, but you know they're feeling it when they get it. Oh yeah, this guy just wants to hit that that forward smash. It's actually good to uh, go for it when you like bait them to start air dodging your throws. I see Raven King get a lot like that. Oh, nope, no tech chase there. Scary situation. Okay. Oh my God, supposed to flame last so long. Oh, see that one. Yeah. Have I wouldn't have killed that early before. Yeah, he ain't going platform. nowhere. Dang, that's really adapting here. Oh my god, huge. Oh man, watch the landing. See, he's getting air dodges scouted. Definitely has all the momentum right now. Okay, nice. Clean back here. Oh, it's high. That was actually tricky to know where, where he was going to go there. I don't blame him for missing that. No way. Okay. <gasps> oh. That's not enough, that's not enough. No, no, not from full screen, but still, like, you can throw that move out so free, you know? Yeah. Oh, that was that was a change up, that was a change up. That was that was really good to actually just go for spot dodge and then punish immediately. Okay, stuck on the platform a little bit, Rakan just trying to get these aerials. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, uh, he needed to get, like, a. Nair to back here, they're seeing him off stage. Oh, the armor! Okay, coming in clutch. Close. Uh, this is pretty much even game. Pal There's a lot that Palo can do at around 60% to just keep Ike off the stage. But it all depends on how Rakan is able to recover. I would very, very much... I was gonna say, like, he... he, he that was bad, that was bad. Even if he's escaped, that was bad. 
Down throw that's no right oh. bear, but that was good up there. Oh, he's. I don't know if that was intentional F smash, but yeah, really, really.